<clears throat> Hello, if you are a student, an engineer trying to prepare for the PE test, or a practicing engineer trying to understand per unit systems, this video would be really good for you. Welcome to Engineering Simple. So, and if you would like to learn more about uh, electrical engineering concepts, transform or transformers, I would recommend you go to Engineering Simple. So, in this slide, I'm going to talk about per unit in single phase systems. Per unit is used in power system studies. So instead of using actual units like MVA, KVA, voltage, amps, ohms, per unit is used. So basically a base unit, a base is used, you know, across and all quantities are converted on that base. So voltage, MVA, impedance, and so on and so forth. So per unit quantity is basically the actual quantity divided by the base quantity. So the actual quantity can be, for instance, an actual measurement, or it can be uh, test information, it can be design information, and it's, uh, it can be voltage, it can be air, uh, current, it can be impedance, it can be real power, watts, kilowatts, megawatts, it can be uh, reactive power, megavars, uh, kilovars, and so on and so forth. Then the base quantity is basically a quantity that it's, it's picked conveniently for the study. So it can be, say, like for MVA, uh, like industry-wide usually uses 100 MVA as the base then you convert all the quantities on that base. As an example, if your generator or transformer, for instance, is rated 700 MVA, so 700 divided by 100 is 7, so the 7 per unit. And you do the same thing for voltage. You pick a, a base a voltage and you convert all, all voltages to that, uh, to that base voltage. Then, so if you have per unit and you want to attain the percentage, you, you just multiply per unit by 100. So actual and base quantities are in actual units, so MVA, volts, amps, ohms, etc. So if you have base quantities, meaning MVA and voltage, and, and remember this is single phase, so the current, you know, for the single phase case is equal to the complex power, which is in VA, MVA, or KVA, divided by the line to neutral voltage. Then if you want to calculate the impedance for the base case, it's just you take the line to neutral voltage uh, squared divided by the by the by the apparent or complex power so then then if you have so if you have the per unit so if you have the per unit impedance and you want to convert it to a new base. For for instance, when you buy a transformer, um, you buy say the impedance is five percent, which is point, uh, 0 0.05 per unit. But when you want to include it in the power system, you might use 100 MVA base. The trans the five percent impedance was calculated based on say like. Uh, 700 MVA. Now you have to convert the 5% which is on a 700 MVA base to the 100 MVA base. So this is the 
conversion. So basically the per unit impedance on the new base is equal to the actual impedance divided by the new base. And as we know, the actual impedance is basically the per unit impedance on the old base times the old base impedance. So divided by the, the new base impedance. So if you carry out the calculation, so basically here I'm just rearranging. So I'm just bringing the per, per unit impedance on the old base here. So I'm not doing anything. I'm just rearranging. And the last equation, so as you can see, the per unit impedance on the old base is still here times basically, as we know, impedance is just voltage squared divided by uh, S, which is the complex power or apparent power. So I'm just writing each one. So you can see here it's old base, old base, new base, new base. So I'm not doing anything. I'm just instead of using impedances, I'm using uh, the voltage squared divided by the apparent power. So then if you rearrange this formula, so the per unit impedance on the new base is equal to the per unit impedance on the old base times the light to neutral voltage on the old base divided by the line to neutral voltage on the new base quantity squared times the apparent power on the new base divided by the by the old the old base power. So as an example, you bought a transformer that's on the old base is point, uh, 0 0.05 per unit times let's say 345 kV so or let's say 20 kV. So 20 kV I didn't change the voltage base so 20 kV divided by 20 kV is just 1 squared is just one times the new base I want to use 100 MVA so 100 MVA divided by the transformer or the five the 0 0.05 percent is based on 700 MVA so 100 divided by the old base apparent power which is 700 so 100 divided by 700 then you carry out the calculation So let's do a quick example. So let's assume we have a single phase transformer rated 100 kVA. Uh, the primary voltage is 20 kV and the secondary voltage is 277 volts. And the transformer impedance is 5% or 0 0.05 per unit on 100 kVA, kVA base and 20 kV base. P is just primary and S is just secondary. So let's pick the base one for apparent power is 100 kVA. Just a reminder, when you see K like in kVA or kV, K just means times a thousand. So it's, it's, it's kilo volt amperes. And uh, let's pick uh, V base 1 as 20 kV. Then let's pick base 2, 100 MVA this time. So again, M means mega. So it's times 10 to the 6th power or 1 million. B uh, v base 2 is uh, 80 kV. So now if we want to calculate I base 1, so it's S, which is apparent power, S base 1 divided by V base 1. So if we look here, it's 100 kV, kVA divided by 20 kV, which is 5 amps. Now, I base 2 is equal to S base 2 divided by V base 2. So if you go here, it's 100 MVA divided by 80 kV and here we have to be careful because here 
you have MVA, so this note here says M is 1 million, and you have, and the denominator is uh, 80 kV, K, here it's a t a times 1,000, so, so we need to pay attention to the units. So when you carry out the calculation, it's uh, 1,250 amps. Now, if I want to calculate, so if I want to take this impedance here, which is 5% on a 100 kVA base and 20 kV base, I want to convert it to base 1, which is 100 kVA and 20 kV. So if I go back to the previous equation, so it's transformer impedance times transform, so the transformer voltage on the old base divided by the new base, the quantity squared times S base 1 divided by S transformer which is equal to, so ZT is just 5% times, so 20, I didn't change the voltage. So V base one is 20 kV and the transformer base is 20 kV. So, so it's 20 kV divided by 20 kV is just one, one squared is one times the new MVA or the new S, S base is 100 kVA divided by 100 kVA because S base 1 is 100 kVA and the transformer base is 100 kVA. So it's 5%. So it's the same as on the transformer base rating. So there, there is no surprise here because I didn't really, I didn't change anything. Now, if I calculate transformer impedance uh, on base 2, so I do the same thing here. So it's 5% times the old base of the voltage is 20 kV, which is here, 20 kV. And the new base voltage, it's here, 80 kV squared times the new MVA, or sorry, the new S base, which is uh, base two, it's 100 MVA divided by the old base apparent power, which is the transformer, uh, is 100 kVA. So in here we have to uh, pay attention to the units. So here we have 100 MVA divided by 100 kVA. So if I carry out the calculation, it's 312.5%. So this was a quick demonstration of how you can convert quantities, like in this example, uh, transformer impedance from, from one base system to another. So now, per unit in three-phase systems. So as we know, so it's three-phase, so basically, uh, S1 phase, uh, one phase is just S3 phase divided by three. So the apparent power of single phase is just one third of the, the apparent power of the three phase. The line to neutral voltage is the line to line voltage divided by square root three. So if I have from these two equations, if I want to calculate the base current, so I can calculate it in two ways. One, I can use the single phase or three phase quantities. So single phase, so single phase apparent power divided by line, line to neutral voltage or three phase apparent power divided by line to line by uh, a line to line voltage timer square root three. Then if I wanna, if I want to calculate the impedance, the same thing, it's in either on in single phase or three phase. 
So in single phase, it's the line to neutral voltage squared divided by the single phase apparent power, or a line to line voltage squared divided by three phase apparent power. So these are really important to pay attention to because you don't want to mix single phase and three phase. You have to be consistent in order to get the right numbers. So just a note, um, like in, in KV, so K, as I stated pre previously, K is equal to a thousand. Basically, you do times a thousand. So if it's squared, it's, it's like uh, 10 to the power of six and M is equal to 10 to the power of six. So basically KV squared divided by uh, M like in mega MVA or it's just, it's, uh, you know, it's just one. So units, so pay attention to units when performing calculations, KV versus, you know, KV, MVA, etc. So, you know, sometimes you might have, say, like if you have a, a 12 KV to 480 volt transformer. So you can see on the primary side, it's 12 KV, but on the low side, it's in volts. So you want to be consistent, KV versus volts, either use KV or use volts. Then MVA, sometimes you have KVA, sometimes you have MVA. So you want to make, because you can be off by a factor of a thousand or more. So it's very critical to pay attention. Then single phase, single phase versus three phase. So it's very important to keep track of all these things. That's it for this video. Thank you and I hope you, you find this helpful. And if you want to know more about uh, electrical engineering concepts or transformers, uh, I would recommend you go to Engineering Simple. And if you have any questions or there's any topic you would like to know about, my email is on the screen. Thank you and have a good day.